Hello everyone, it's Hidesh, back with another famous made problems video. We're going to be looking at a very, uh, very interesting and famous modern made problem. It was published in 1997, uh, composed by Koji Nuida, and it's called The Last Judgment. And although this problem is uh, so interesting, to the composer's surprise, uh, this problem actually invoked disputes over Shogi made problem fans and uh, it was about whether this problem is legitimate or not. This made problem uses a very uh, interesting interpretation of shogi rules, so it kind of questions uh, the system of shogi rules itself. But before discussing about that, let's let's take a look at the moves first. Uh, so here's what we're gonna do in this video. First, I'm gonna show you the composer's intended uh, solution, and then after that, uh, I'll talk about the issue uh, involved in this problem and then I'll ask you guys to give me some feedbacks on what you think about uh, the issue all right so uh, here's the mating move it's made in 69 okay now the first move is oh and this problem is uh, what we call a two king problem or double king problem where we have uh, your own king in on the board okay now the first move is bishop drop on 5f checking all right now, uh, interestingly enough, this bishop drop has to be on 5f. Uh, it doesn't, uh, it, uh, it can't be on 6g or, you know, 7h, 8i, whatever. And I'm going to show you the reason later, uh, especially uh, the reason why it must not be on 6g is very interesting. So let's talk about that later. And uh, for now, uh, the opening move is bishop drop on 5f. Okay, now, obviously the king has to go to 4d. Okay, you have a pawn here, uh, but you can't drop it to here. It's a pawn drop mate. So uh, you only have these silver checks. Uh, one is silver to 3c upward on promote. But the thing is, if you do that, the king can go away to this way and uh, it won't be a mate. So this uh, next move is actually silver to 3c backward on promote. Okay, king goes to 5c and then another silver to 4b backward on promote. And the king will basically run to 5b. Uh, now the question is why not king uh, move to uh, either uh, these squares? Well, this square is a simple checkmate with the gold on the belly. So uh, the question is this way or this way. Well, whichever the king goes to, this gold sack. Uh, I mean, if you know, if the king w goes to this way, on uh, the same gold sack, because the king can't move to here. That's checkmate. So. Anyway, this gold sack will uh, indice the king over to 7c, so uh, look at this bishop promotion checking, and uh, whichever uh, square king goes to, you, you had the lands from here now, so you can drop here. And look at this, the pawn is on 6a, so he can drop the pawn, and he only has very valuable pieces. So actually, uh, whatever he imposes here, uh, you can take it in a checkmate. So. That's why the king basically has to, uh, from this point, uh, to 5b. Okay, now the next move is bishop to 7d. Checking. Right, now, uh, for the same reason the king can't run to here because uh, this gold sack comes over. So you, uh, so white has to drop a piece to 6c. But pawn is not an option. And, uh, well, rook, well, you can take the rook and uh, it's a simple mate. So the thing is, he has to drop a bishop, you take it, king recaptures, and then you drop the bishop again to 8e. Now, uh, this is an interesting point. The bishop has to be on 8e, not on 7d or not on uh, 9f. Okay, uh, you're gonna see the reason later. Okay, so bishop, uh, no, sorry, king runs to 6b. Now here comes a very good silver sacrifice. I mean, it's not a sacrifice because I uh, can't take it. Zero to 5a on promote. Now, if the king takes it, look at this uh, rook waiting on here. Promoted pawn to 2b, uh, discovery check, uh, taking the land. So uh, even if white takes the rook, uh, you know, it's a checkmate. So uh, the king actually can't take that zero. So zero to 5c. So the zeros move again here. Zero to 4b forward on promote king to 4. D, well, uh, 6D is uh, made with 
golden belly so king 4d and here now you have a pawn right uh, so you drop that to 4e uh, bring the king up to 4e and then the bishop goes back to 6g checking from here okay now if the king immediately runs now to 4d now this time instead of zero to 3c backward you can actually play zero to 3c upward uh, from which the king can go to 3e but here uh, well this is the reason why the bishop uh, has had to be on uh, 8e uh, uh, you know in this diagonal well the reason is after uh, well this knight awakens here and uh, king runs to 2f well if 2e uh, the gold drop and uh, you know this rook is waiting here so it's, it's a simple mate so uh, king to 6 uh, 2f and the gold drop king runs and look at this the bishop is on this diagonal so he can take this gold and it will lead to a mate actually so uh, actually after this uh, bishop check here on 6g the king can immediately run to 4d so what he does here he makes the pawn sacrifice on 5f interesting and then bishop takes it so now the bishop can't take this golden uh, 4i so now the king can now run to 4d but uh, have you noticed something well if you look at this position uh, bishop to 5f uh, this is uh, completely totally the same position as where you play the first move bishop drop on 5f right so you're seeing this position again and that has something to do with uh, the device of this problem so uh, let's see uh, now king runs to 4d now and you do the same thing silver goes back king runs silver goes back king runs and bishop check bishop interpose uh, bishop trade and bishop to 8e uh, in order to get this gold later so king runs silver sack uh, i mean he can't take it silver goes ahead king runs and pawn drop on four well, you're doing the same thing oh and by the way silver 3c upward now actually won't be a mid because now king can run to 40 not 3 40 can go to 40 and then you can only make this bishop check uh, you know you can't drop a pawn here because uh, the knight is protecting there so you can uh you can only move the bishop but uh you've already seen this uh, technique to get the bishop out of uh, this diagonal and then run so uh, you can't take the gold uh, which means it's not made after uh, these right so uh that's why uh, you're not supposed to move this silver to upward uh 3c so you can you can only drop a pawn to 4e king takes and bishop to 6 checking and pawn to 5f and bishop takes okay this is the third time you see this position now uh, you're starting to see what uh, what this problem is all about now king runs silver back to 3c on promote king runs back to 4b king runs and bishop check bishop into position and bishop exchange and bishop drop on 80 king runs in silver sack king runs silver 4b upward okay king runs 4d pawn drop king takes and then bishop back on 6g again okay then okay here's the most interesting position now the composer's intended solution from here is actually king to 4d and it will go into the final mating line now here's the reason why uh, doesn't white drop a pawn to 5f okay here's the reason let's say let's suppose he did that uh, dropped a pawn to 5f okay now what black's gonna do is of course bishop takes 5f check but look at this. oh i mean the the bcm shogi application this software has an encounter some kind of bug at this position well i believe it has something to do with the device of this problem you see uh it says something uh, uh unreadable and uh for some reason the rook has appeared on here well okay now here's what it is now this bishop moved on 5f uh this is the fourth time you see the identical position 
So yes, it's a repetition draw.、Uh, however, you know about this rule. In shogi, you're not supposed to make a repetition with consecutive checks.、Uh, perpetual check draw is not allowed in shogi. So with this move, bishop to five f, black loses with an illegal move of repetition draw with consecutive checks. Okay, so black can't do this. So、uh, does that mean it's no mate? Black loses here. You can't solve this problem. No, let's go back here. Now, if you see this position carefully, you can see that Black's only option to save his own king is to take the pawn with the bishop. Don't forget that your king, your own king, is checked with this pawn, and you have to save the king. But you know, if you can't take it with the bishop, what what else is he gonna do? You, the king can't run here, can't run here, can't run here, cannot run here. Oh no, bishop takes five f is the only move Black is supposed to do. And even that move is illegal. Well, so that means this is a checkmate for Black's king, right? Yeah, you can say it's a checkmate. Now again, please take a look at what White did here. He dropped the pawn to check the king, which lead to a checkmate for the Black's king. So that's a pawn drop mate. In other words, mate with a drop pawn, and that's illegal too. So since White's pawn drop in 5f is illegal, White can't do that. So that's why like the composer says、uh, White's king has to move to 4d at this position,、uh, from which it will、uh, continue the mating line of Silver to 3c upward on promote king runs and、uh, knight check king runs gold drop, and then Bishop takes the gold in 4i,、uh, followed by the gold drop on 2h and checkmate. With 69 moves, so interesting, right? Now here, let me go back to the first position and let me、uh, explain why the first move was bishop drop on 5f. Why not bishop drop on 6g、uh, from the starting point uh, to uh, uh, enable to take this gold? And、uh, you know, why can only、uh, drop a pawn here? And why not you just now take it? So you can earn a pawn here. Or、uh, if I go even further, why not the composer、uh, made this problem as like this without a pawn? And why didn't he make the solution like、uh, bishop to six g and then pawn drop? And here you、uh, come to the first position of the original、uh, original problem. Well, the reason is if you do that, or、uh, if you, let's say, uh, if you drop the bishop to here、uh, from the first position, and you are in a pawn. Well, actually,、uh, if we, you know, if you do the same thing,、uh, let's say、uh, you do the same thing. And let's say you did、uh, these moves three times to get back to the same position, like this. Well, actually, if you do that, this move of bishop、uh, to six g becomes the trigger to that repetition. So you know, this move, the bishop on six g, will become an illegal move. So that will be a simple no mate situation. So. Yeah, that's a no mate, and that pawn drop doesn't happen. The game ends. The game stops at this position. All right. So that's why、uh, the first move is always have to be,、uh, you know, the the solution has to start from bishop on five f in order to,、uh, you know, in order to.、Uh, let's say you made these moves three times. Uh, and uh, in order to make this move of five f as a trigger to red repetition, which will make this pawn drop illegal. Okay. Now, now that we've seen、uh, the solution, the intended solution,、uh, let's talk about the issue, the dispute over、uh, made problem fans. Well, they questioned:、uh, Is this legitimate interpretation of shogi rule? 
And、uh, I think the issue can be、uh, separated into two things. There are two issues in,、uh, involved in this problem. One is,、uh, is this pawn、uh, drop a mate or not? You know, is this a mate? So, you know, let's forget about the pawn and let's suppose it was a lance. I mean, let's suppose all those、uh, three consecutive move sequences were made with the lance drop on 5f every time. Although it, it, there's not much point in doing that in this problem、uh, if, if you know, the lance isn't here and、uh, you know, white doesn't have lance. And, If black can get a lance, it will be an other mate, I guess. But let's suppose white did that, and black cannot take it because of the consecutive check repetition. So the question is is this lance drop a checkmate? Well, the definition of checkmate is、uh, the position where the king is checked and the, king, the king's side cannot、uh, remove the check with any legal move. So, you know, bishop takes on 5f. Is,、uh, you know, if bishop takes 5f is illegal, well,、uh, according to that definition, maybe you can say this is checkmate. But we're not sure.、Uh, you know, Japan Shogi Association、uh, hasn't made、uh, any specific remarks on that. So, you know, we don't, we don't know it yet, all right? And now the second issue is even if、uh, this was a checkmate, this lance was a checkmate, now should we? Apply that definition to even pawn drop mate? Well, does that type of checkmate be included as the mate in pawn drop mate? Yeah, that's the second issue. And, you know, Japan Shogi Association、uh, hasn't made any remark, hasn't made clear about this issue. They keep shutting their mouth on this very difficult matter, okay? So, since、uh, these two issues are not yet to be solved, we can't say this main problem is legitimate or not.、Uh, unbelievable. So,、uh, I'm really looking forward to、uh, hear feedbacks on this matter from you guys.、Uh, what you guys think about this issue, how you see this issue, how, how you want to put conclusion this matter. So, you can, you can leave comments in this video. Alright, so take your hope, enjoy the video. Ah,、uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.